we are home, which means progress. <laughs> progress. Project. Project time. Words are hard. Are you ready to help mommy with the garden? She's ready. We are creating a wildflower patch right in the front of my patio. And I'm so excited because I'm gonna use these to make myself bouquets for inside the house. Cause I ain't paying those prices at the store. Ain't happening. But I do love flowers. So I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna find a way to make it happen. And my patio actually likes to flood because I don't know if you can tell, but my backyard is slightly at an angle. So I'm hoping that the deep roots of the wildflower kind of absorb some of that water because plants are cool. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of topsoil over here, um, just so I have a little bit of good soil to sprinkle my little flowers in, and then I'm gonna cover it with some mulch. Will it work? No idea, we're gonna find out. And if you're a long-term gardener, or you're just beginning, and you know some good tips and tricks, drop them in the comments, because I'm always wanting to learn. I'm a beginner, I got lots, lots of learning to go. And I did weed eat, well not even weed eat, I pulled weeds, all the weeds along that whole back fence and right here. So we're starting fresh. Oh, I missed a few. I'm gonna have to get those right now. So I was just gonna mix all of them together, but I think I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of the mix, and then I'm gonna go in a little more strategically with some of my others. Quick look at some of the others. This is just a start, and if I like how this looks, then I'm going to extend it around my property. Cause it's all about feeding the bees, and the hummingbirds, and the butterflies, and all the pollinators. Now I'm just gonna cover it with a little bit of the garden soil and then cover it in mulch and wet it really good. All right, now we are just gonna wait. I think I'm gonna need more mulch. <laughs> 